Hello, my name is Gülay Özkan. I'm based in Istanbul. I'm uh, here, John, with, uh, from Springboard. And uh, we will be talking about uh, investing in regional companies. John, hello. Hi, good to uh, see you. Yeah, it, it was a really great panel at Webit, and uh, we were talking about uh, like whether the location matters uh, to yeah. be a global company, and yeah. uh, you really made some strong comments, and I would like to hear There's more. There's nothing worse than a boring panel, so <laughs> it's easier to say something controversial and not. Um, you are saying that the location doesn't matter at all. Uh, absolutely. I spend my life uh, working with teams from around the world. Um, I'm more interested in their ambition and what they want to do uh, rather than where they're physically from um, and what they're planning on doing going forward. But I may be surprised because um, the comments, I mean, not just you, all the panel was uh, somehow like ignoring the, the, the ecosystem effects on the, yeah. you know, on the startup. Uh, don't you think that GDP per capita matters a little bit? Um, well, this is the conversation about e-commerce versus product-based pro um, businesses. Um, where you have an e-commerce business, and I, the weird thing I've discovered over the last 24 hours when I'm in Turkey is a significant number of the startups in Turkey are e-commerce. So you're right. When you're talking about that, you're talking about GDP is important. Like if they've got no money, it's hard to get money out of people. Yeah, but when you, when you talk about products which are scalable on a global level, um, why would you be restricted to the GDP of any particular country? There's a, this cliche question that the whether we can have Google from Istanbul. Yeah. And, and you think it's possible, for example? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, my issue is if it's a problem and you're an entrepreneur, pack your bags and go somewhere else. It's better. Yeah. Why, 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 why do you have to stay here? I mean, I'm Irish. I live in London. I have a family in Cambridge. I've been to Australia. I've worked in the States. It's, that's the, where does the ambition of the entrepreneur live? Um, if, if you... It's like a, a potted plant. If you put a plant in a small uh, pot, it will only grow as big as the pot will allow it. If you have the ambition to be in a bigger market and tackle a big market, and guess what? You have to make personal sacrifice to make that happen. There's nothing will hold. The, the wonderful thing about globalization is it allows you to have a global ambition. So the location matters then? Because, like, if you want to be global, then, for example, you need to move to Silicon Valley. No, you, you have to have the ambition of actually being able to get on a plane and go to Silicon Valley. That doesn't mean you, haven't, you can't come back. It's, it's all about... And the weird thing is that whilst we're all connected and Skype is great and Twitter is great, actually getting out and meeting other smart people is really important. I've seen some fantastic businesses where the engineering talent exists in one location and the entrepreneur, somebody described to me, where do you live? And he said, 1B. That's the first seat on the front row on an aeroplane. Yeah? <laughs> And that's what you want to encourage. Yeah, you want to get people moving physically and meeting other smart people. So, okay, and uh, you as a company, you have investment in emer emerging world, right? So, um, Springboard essentially is an acceleration program similar to Y Combinator. We invest in on any cycle, any program, 10 teams. Uh, currently, we're doing Springboard in London. We have 10 teams and not one of them is a British team. We have teams from Shanghai, from South Korea, Lithuania, Romania, Germany, New York, Austria, uh, and the West Coast. So basically do, uh, those entrepreneurs come to London and yeah. pitch? Yeah, no, they don't come to pitch. They spend 13 weeks in a room locked up and we push pizza under the door and they're not allowed to leave until they're finished. Um, so it's a very, it's, it's a, the, the words they use is a, it's a boot camp, yeah? yeah, where we bring together. So one of the things I described was the hurdle you have to get over is, are you willing to pack your bags and come to London? How ambitious are you for you and your business? If you're going to go, mm, thank you, I'm quite happy where I am. Honestly, that's not the sort of people I want to work with. Okay, and uh, what do you think about Middle East market and Turkey? Um... Uh, my general view is uh, in Europe itself, uh, after you go UK, Germany, I think Turkey is probably the third most interesting market. It's clearly in a slightly different part of the cycle. 
um, but it's growing, it's growing fast, it has really good mobile engagement, um, people are connected, it has a very youthful uh, audience, and, and Turkey, because it's a, a trading post between different locations, people are really used to hustling, yeah? Entrepreneurs are hustlers, so I see Turkey, I see Turkey as a, a nation of hustlers or potential entrepreneurs. Thank you. Thank you.